Welcome, and thanks for joining me for this episode of Planning Priorities. I'm your host, Melanie Wells, an associate at Hensler Financial. Student loan debt is the second largest type of consumer debt behind mortgages, and with college costs still increasing every year, it's important to get a handle on what you should do in the years before your child goes to college. First, you should determine how much you have saved and how much you are going to need. If you're saving for your child's education, you may not know if you have saved enough. Tools such as a college debt price calculator help estimate financial aid and measure a specific college's affordability. The college's sticker price, minus any grant aid, equals your net price. A net price calculator is typically available on every college's website and only takes 10 to 15 minutes to complete. This tool gives you a more accurate picture of what your out-of-pocket costs will be, which should help you determine if you can afford that school. And if you haven't started saving yet or haven't saved enough, it's never too late to begin. Every dollar you save now reduces potential student debt in the future. There are great tax advantage options for saving for your child's higher education, such as a 529 college savings account. Money saved in a 529 plan grows tax deferred and is tax free when distributed as long as it's used for qualified education expenses. Many states also offer an additional tax deduction or credit for planned contributions for their residents. A great way to start or continue saving for college is to set up an automatic monthly contribution into this type of account. You should also familiarize yourself with how the financial aid process works when starting to plan for college. Many scholarships and grants are first come, first serve, so it's smart to start the process even as early as your student's freshman year of high school. If you and your student have an idea of what it's going to take, you can start planning ahead of time to increase the odds of being awarded money. Also, as soon as January 1st of your student's senior year, you should fill out the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. This will determine what type of financial aid you can get, including any grants. There are also many resources to find information on different types of scholarships and their requirements, such as online searches, your student's high school counselor, or even the universities directly. And lastly, a good rule of thumb is just because you can doesn't always mean you should. Sometimes your student's dream school may not offer the best program for their dream job, and a typical four-year university is not necessarily meant for everyone. College expenses vary depending on the type of school, number of classes, major, and lifestyle. Your child should consider looking for the school that makes the most sense for them. If you can't pay for the tuition and living expenses, you may want to consider a more affordable school or even online classes to avoid graduating with substantial debt. You should take time to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your student about what they want and how you are willing or able to help. Having an honest conversation now will set realistic expectations for the future. Taking these few steps now, before your child starts college, can help identify any changes you need to make to help your child realize their dreams. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Planning Priorities. I'm Associate Melanie Wells. Thanks for watching.